Hi students, problem number 15. A point charge causes an electric flux of minus 1 into 10 power 3 Newton meter square per coulomb to pass through a spherical Gaussian surface of 10 centimeter radius. It is centered around the charge so that the sphere is centered around the charge. So you can say that this is a 10 centimeter radius. So this sphere is having a charge Q equal to minus 1. So the quantity of charge given is negative charge. So this is minus 1.0 into 10 power 3 Newton meter square per coulomb. In this picture, since the given charge is negative, can you all see that the electric flux lines are pointed inwards? So in the previous numericals, we have handled the positive charges. For the positive charges, the flux will be always pointed outwards. Understand? But in this case, since the given charge at the center of the sphere is negative, the electric flux lines are pointed inwards. So let phi net be the net electric flux. Now subdivision A. If the radius of the Gaussian surface were doubled, instead of 10 cm, if it is doubled, if it is doubled, that is 20 cm, what will be the flux? How much flux would pass through the surface is the first question. Now from Gauss law, there is a direct relationship between the net electric flux phi and the net charge Q. So the relationship does not contain the term radius or area of the surface. Therefore, the net flux is independent of the size and shape of the Gaussian surface. It depends only of that is the quantity of charge which is located inside the Gaussian surface. So for the first part, for the first part, how much flux would pass through the surface when the radius is doubled, when the radius is doubled also, the same flux only will pass through. So for subdivision A, if radius is doubled, if radius is doubled, there is no change in the flux. There is no change in the net electric flux. So, the net electric flux phi net is once again what the same value. That is minus 1.0 into 10 to the power of 3 Newton meter square per coulomb. It is the same. Now, what is subdivision B? What is the value of the point charge Q located at the center of the sphere? So for subdivision B, we are using a Gauss law. From Gauss law, the net electric flux phi net is equal to Q by epsilon naught. So this implies, this implies what? Q is equal to the net net charge Q. Okay, so the net charge Q is equal to epsilon naught multiplied by phi net. Very simple question it is. Therefore, what is the charge Q? The product of epsilon naught and phi net. So epsilon naught value we must remember it is a standard value 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square. So I am going to substitute this value for epsilon naught as what 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 into the value of phi that is a phi net. Phi net is minus 1 into 10 power so this is minus 1 into 10 power 3 so that this is minus 8.854 into 1 so this is 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 multiplied by 10 power 3 is 10 power minus 9 coulomb so minus 9 coulomb is nano coulomb okay therefore the quantity of charge is 
negative minus 8.854 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb or nano coulomb. So this is the answer for the second part of the problem. I hope you must have understood well. Fine.